Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Happy Friday. If it's Friday, it means it's another Heroes Assembly. And I'm really pleased to be sharing some super stars with you all today. I've seen some lovely things at Atlantic this week. I've seen some screen printing, some amazing paintings, some French being spoken, some fantastic writing and some phenomenal math. So well done, guys. Uh, just to mention a few things. It's been great. But enough from me. Let's hand straight over to your teachers and see who are the heroes this week at Atlantic Academy. First up is over to Mr. Blanthorne. Mr. Blanthorne's job by Max this morning. Mr Blanthorn, who is your hero in Spider Club class today? Good morning Miss Hebble and good morning everyone. I've got Maxie with me today as we give you our hero of the week for the Spider Club class. This week we would like to say well done to Caleb. Caleb, you have been putting so much effort into your studies this week. You have tried to complete all of your rainbow challenges and I'm sure you will have them done by today. The effort that you're putting in has definitely increased and you're persevering when things are getting a bit challenging and a bit tough. And it's been great to see. The attitude that you've got towards your learning has definitely improved. So you deserve to be our hero of the week. Well done, Caleb. Well done, Caleb. Great to hear you getting stuck into your rainbow challenges. You're doing a phenomenal job. Well done. Okay, next up is Miss Neve. Miss Neve, who is Lobster Class's hero this week? Hi, everybody. So my hero in Lobster Class this week is going to somebody who has been trying super hard whilst we started our phonics this week. They have used their listening ears to listen to the sounds that we're doing and has tried their best to get the correct grip on their pencil, which I have then seen them working independently to try and achieve in other activities as well. I have been super happy to see William trying so hard this week. Well done William, keep up the fantastic work. What a phonic star you are William, well done, you're doing an amazing job. You should be really proud of yourself, well done. Okay, next up is Miss Powell. Miss Powell, who is Turtle Class's hero? this week. Good morning primary, I'm here to do Turtle Class's Hero of the Week. My hero this week is somebody who is the first person in year one to go on an AR quiz and get 100%. So exciting, great progress and showing some amazing reading in class and at home. And that person is Jay. Well done Jay, we are so proud of you. Super reading, keep it up. Well, I can't believe we've got AR readers in year one. And not only that, but AR readers who are getting 100% on their quizzes. Jay, you should be incredibly proud of yourself. Well done to you and well done to all of our AR readers. Okay, next up is Narwhal class. Miss Chant, who is your hero this week? Hello, my hero for Narwhals this week is someone who has been giving really good explanations in maths and has been showing a brilliant understanding of how to use our part-part-whole diagrams and how to subtract using these. And that person is Jacob. Well done, Jacob. Wow, subtraction, what a math superstar you are. And it's great to see you're using your part-part-whole model, Jacob. You are doing a great job. Okay, now next up, Mrs. Winter hasn't been well this week and Rainbow Starfish, I'm really sorry, but she hasn't been able to record you a video, but she's told me she's so incredibly proud of you all. She wanted to award you all a hero of this week. So give yourselves a big round of applause. You should be really proud and she will be blown over by the work that you've done while she's been away. So well done to you all in Rainbow Starfish class. Okay, next up is Hippocampus class. Miss Richardson, could you tell us who your hero is this week? Good morning, everybody, and good morning, Miss Happel. So my hero for 3A this week goes to somebody who's not only been doing great learning at school, but also at home, slowly working, work, working their way through the homework grid. So he's been sending in videos, I've got posters, maps, and all sorts. I've also been learning a few things myself. Did you know that in London, over 300 different languages are spoken? And of course, the person that's sending all those things is Josh, so well done, Josh. Well, Josh, I loved hearing the fact that you taught me about London as well. I agree, Mrs. Richardson. He's been doing a phenomenal job and very well deserved Hero of the Week. Well done to you. OK, Mr. Dolby. Mr. Dolby's not in today. He's off on a course. He's learning lots of things to share with you all. But Mr. Dolby has left us a hero message. So, Mr. Dolby, who is Jellyfish's hero this week? 
Hey everyone, it's time for our Jellyfish Hero of the Week. This week, I'm going to give it to somebody who has worked really hard. Even when they're not in school, they've come back and they've joined our classroom and they have proved that they are up to every challenge that I have given them. I am immensely proud of this person and the efforts that they've put in to make sure that they are keeping up with their learning. Lucy, amazing job, sweetheart. You're my Hero of the Week. Bye guys. Well done, Lucy. I agree with Mr. Dolby. It's been great to see the work that you've done both at home and in school. You should be very proud of yourselves. Great job. Okay, next up is Miss Jackson. Miss Jackson's joined by a friend today for her Hammerhead Sharp Hero of the Week. Let's hear who it is. Morning, guys. Okay, so for this week, me and Miss Jukes found it really, really difficult to pick our heroes this week. So we put our heads together and came up with our heroes. So the hero that for Hammerhead Shark class that we decided was someone who is always reading, always trying really, really hard in everything he does, trying really hard for settling into his new maths class and all round being an absolute asset to our class. So the Hammerhead Hero of the Week this week is Kyle. Well done, Kyle. Keep up the good work. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Well, Carl, it sounds like you've settled in brilliantly to your mass, new maths group and I'm not surprised you're working so well. A very well done to you. OK, next up is Miss Jukes. Miss Jukes is joined, as ever, by her furry friends. Miss Jukes, can you tell us who Swordfish's hero of the week is this week? Well done, Kyle. I've been so impressed with how you've settled in to my maths group. Now, for Swordfish class, we have decided that our hero is somebody who has shown amazing confidence in Miss Jackson's math group and it's somebody who has also shown amazing confidence in English as well this week. I've been so impressed with this person um, especially considering they're working one handed a lot of the time at the moment and that person is Blake. Well done, you should be so proud of yourself. Okay, Keep up the amazing work. Blake, fantastic to hear your confidence is growing. I'm not surprised you're a hero this week. Well done to you. Okay, next up we've got a double whammy. We've got uh, Mrs. Watson and Mr. Eakers with Dolphin and Sea Lion class. Can you both tell us who your heroes are this week? Hello everyone. Hello everyone. And welcome to the uh, Year 5 Heroes Assembly. Um, my hero this week goes to Jack. Well done Jack for some fabulous, fabulous work in English. Uh, you edited your work on Monday really, really well and I can see that you're already working really hard on our newspaper report and give us some great ideas, so well done. That sounds interesting to Mr. Eakers. Yeah. The person in my class who's my hero is somebody who's put so much effort into improving their presentation, and that goes to Will. Thank you, Will, for all your efforts. Well done. Well done, everyone. Well, it's lovely to hear that we've got awards for Will for his presentation and for Jack for his super English work. So well done to you both. Great job. Keep up the good work. OK, last of our classes, we've got Miss Chant. Miss Chant, can you tell us who Orca class's hero is this week? Hey everyone, here we are ready to tell you about 6A's Hero of the Week. It's been such a tricky choice again this week. However, the person that we finally decided on is someone who has taken great care in all of their presentation, as well as making sure the content is accurate. And they have even succeeded in tackling many of the challenges, both in English and maths this week. So we are very proud, Kipling. Kipling, be patient. We we are very proud. <laughs> Come back up. Good boy. Up, 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 up. Up. Kipling, good boy. We are very proud in 6A of Freya. Well done, Freya. Great, great job. Good girl. Freya, I'm so pleased you've been achieving your challenges and really striving to be better in your classes. So well done to you. Fantastic job. Okay, last but not least of our class teachers, Mrs. Dolby. Mrs. Dolby, who is Penguin Class's hero this week? Good morning and welcome to Penguin Class Hero of the Week. 
Uh, this week it's been a really difficult task. Uh, we've been working on our long division, which has proved very challenging. Um, but actually, we have persevered. And one person who has really stood out found it really, really tricky at the very start. But they've kept on going, kept on trying. And now they are definitely one of my uh, long division superstars. And my hero this week is Summer. Well done, Summer. Well, Year 6, you should all be really proud of yourself. Long division is no easy trait, and I know that you guys have working, been working incredibly hard, so well done. But a special well done to Summer. It's been wonderful to hear about your perseverance. You should be really proud too. Okay, last up of our teachers is Mrs Russell. Mrs Russell, could you tell us who your sports hero is this week? Hi, everyone. Just thought I'd come out for an evening walk and um, film my PE hero video for this week. Uh, and it's going to be a key stage one's turn this time. So uh, it goes to somebody in year two, and this week it's a boy. Uh, somebody that's so enthusiastic about PE every single week. And I know he does a lot of sport outside of school. Uh, and that's Connor. So well done to you. Fantastic news. It's been great to hear you've been all working hard. It's been lovely to see some of your PE lessons, and I know you really enjoy it. So well done to you all. Okay, last up is our reading badges. Now we've only got two reading badges this week and they're both bronze badges and they go to Paige in year three and Holly in year six. So well done to you all. But Mrs. Richardson says we've got a number of people who are not far off getting a badge. So I think next week, if we're trying really hard, we're gonna have loads of prizes to give out. Well, that's everything for this morning, guys. I know you've been all working really hard. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a great time with your families and stay safe and I'll see you all on Monday. Bye-bye.